If you're seeing this for the first time, please join my family and hit the subscribe button. If you're not seeing it for the first time and you're back again to show your support, I thank you so much. And don't please don't forget to leave a like and leave a comment right at the end to share what you feel of what I'm going to be sharing with you today. So what I have for you today is a review of the products that I bought from Take A Lot it's a full acrylic set for just 800 rands so i want to test the products out with you to see whether or not it's worth it um i know the journey of a beginner as a nail technician is very stressful especially when it comes to the changs because you you wasting a lot of product it actually boils down to you wasting because you're trying out a set and then it's nonsense and then you need to start all over so i went and i got the most affordable set that i got that i saw on take a lot so that you're not wasting so much of your money while you are still learning how to do nails so i'll just show you again what the products are that i got it's basically um this nail glue i i am not I'm not familiar with this brand. Um, a nice practice finger. We have a glass Deppen dish. They did also provide us with this plastic Deppen dish where you can enclose whatever leftover monomer or liquid you have in there. And then we have two files, a very coarse file and then a very smooth file. And then they gave us two types of nail tips this one is clear and then this one is like your traditional french white french tip and then they also gave us this um acrylic brush it's very small i'm not used to using a brush this size but we'll work with it and then we also have these cuticle sticks i think there should be like 10 in here and then a nail cutter. We have three different colors of the powders. They gave us white, they gave us pink, and then they gave us clear. And then they also gave us um, this acrylic liquid. They have stuff for deco as well. We're not going to be using these today though. Um, and also a, another art gel brush. And then what I went ahead and did on the side, because it wasn't a part of this set, this stuff that I just showed you now was 580 or something. And then I went and I got, I looked for a e-file on the side. I think this was 150. And then this little lamp. This UV lamp also a hundred and something cool so we're going to test out these I'm just going to flip the screen so that you see what I'm doing on the table um, I hope yeah so if we had had if this was like a real person's nail you'd start off by pushing back the cuticle first of all i'm not happy with how deep cut this nail plate is but this is what they gave us so let's work with it so we do have an e-file instead of using a hand file i'll set my e-file and then just roughen up the surface of this nail so that our product, our nail tip can stick very, very easily. If you're doing this on your actual nail, you want to have as light a hand as possible. 
Okay, they don't have a dust remover as part of the package, so I'll use mine. Then we'll get our see which nail tip will fit here. No. Oh my god, this is horrible. Mm -mm. I can't work with this um, practice nail, so I'll get my own one. Because that one actually doesn't sit with me with this. Alright. So, this is a practice finger that I bought from Planet Nails. And then this is the one that came from Take Lots. I want you to please focus on the difference in terms of the nail plate. You cannot work on this, so I'll just use mine. I'm going to go ahead and prep it again. I did work on it recently. Hence, it looks a bit rough. All right. Remove the dust and then let's get a nail tip. Yeah, this could actually work. So I'll use the glue to see. Oh my god, how well it sticks. Mm. This glue. I'm very sorry that glue of this is gonna have me being wretched biting on it and stuff so I'll just use my KDS glue I got this as a set of 100 from Amazon let's see how it fits on okay I use the smallest size from that set of nails to fit on this nail and it seems to be fitting perfectly We'll just wait for it to sit down. Let's see. Okay, it's not sticking down. Um, I've never struggled before like this with sitting down nails. On these practice fingers, so I'm beginning to think it's the tip. Wow. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm definitely thinking it's the tip. So I might have to use one of my other tips to see if it works better. Yeah, no. Let me get another one. Okay, so this is my set of tips from Planet Nails. Don't mind the wretchedness. My tips have been through a bit. And these are not clear. It's natural colored tips. So I'll have to remove the glue product here again gently just filing where the part where I had applied the glue let's see what happens now some of the glue and then onto the finger This one better stick. I'm not in the mood. Okay, I'm just going to add some more glue in there. Just to make sure that it's as secure as possible. And then I'll press down again. If it wasn't dangerous to go down closer and blow a bit of air onto it, I would have done so. But, uh, -uh. Ain't nobody got time for that.
Okay, so our nail is finally glued down. I'll just cut down a moderate size of the nail. Then we're going to go in with our rough, our coarse filer. And just make it into a square shape. Okay, so our filer is doing the things. And then I really, really enjoy using the e-file. I'm so used to it by now. It just saves a lot of time. So you're going to use the e-file to blend in your, your tip into your natural nail. Remember to keep as gentle of a hand as possible. Cool. So what um, this set does not have is it doesn't have um, your, your top coat and it doesn't have nail prep or primer. But since we're just using a practice finger, it's cool. We'll just go ahead and... start with our product application i'll pour some of the liquid into my dappen dish okay it has a a seal thing here okay the oh the scent is very very strong let me do this mm. Okay, this is a very very strong scent so what what the scent story really is is that this specific brand is MMA so we have MMA monomers and then we have EMA monomers MMA stands for methyl methacrylate and then EMA is ethyl ethacrylate so the problem, ethyl methacrylate, sorry. So the problem with this MMA, with the methyl methacrylate, is that the chemical makeup of it is so, so strong that it can actually cause damage to your natural nail. It can cause like infections and whatever shine this is. So that is why I'd advise for you to keep using this liquid to practice on practice fingers or hands. So... This is our cover pink. And then we're going to see what application of this product looks like. So let me do this. So you press your brush down your bristles just to squeeze out air bubbles. Okay, the bristles are not as natural as I would like for them to be. They're very, very synthetic, so they don't move as freely as I'd love for them to move. But they can pick up the acrylic. They can pick up the powder. And then we're going to go in for our second bead. Okay, so this bead really, really dries up very quickly. So you'd need to have a quick hand when you're working your bead down. And the brush with its small pointy edge doesn't even make it any easier. But this is what they gave us. And we're going to work with it. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. We're going to have this dry and then we can file down the products. Okay, so 
my honest review of the the monomer the acrylic liquid is that the the scent is very very strong usually when i work with other acrylic liquids i can use this uh, paper towel and once i'm done with it i can just throw it into the dustbin i don't think i'd be able to keep this in the house for the night or me being here at home i'd have to go throw it outside because it's very very strong and then the powder dries up super 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 quick what did i just do the powder just dries up so so quickly while you're trying to work with it and this product build up so 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 quickly on this little brush but ah okay so the the powder i thought it goes all the way to here the powder ends somewhere here so that's how they're scamming us with the powder just for your interest sake but as i said it's cool to use this for the time being since you're still learning so we're just gonna wait for this to completely dry and then we can file down the product and we'll apply our our monomer our sorry our top coat and since they didn't provide us with top coat i'll be using the planet nails one that i have yeah so let's see how this dries up and then we can do that okay so i waited for quite some time now for this product to get hard it looks too shiny for it to be hard it doesn't dry off like um acrylics usually does but when i tap on it it sounds like it's relatively hard so we're going to go ahead and file but then the product still feels very very rubbery so i'm not trusting it too much mm. it feels super rubbery when i'm filing <sighs> over the top Do you see what I mean when I say it's rubbery? Look at all this product here on the side. Just look at that. What the hell is going on here? as much as of the dust as possible oh it feels rubbery so it doesn't dry with the same consistency that i know acrylics to dry with and then we're going to apply Okay, so I'm very very impressed with the lamp it cleared it dried the top coat in one go the lamp is a definite definite buy the portability is great it's very cheap and then I'll just apply some of my top coat and this is how it looks Alright guys, so just a quick recap, um, the glue for me was a big no, I couldn't even get it open, I think some of the glue got stuck to the cap, the practice finger was a big no for me as well, I'm not happy with the grooves of the natural, natural nail, 
our tips okay the tip couldn't stick so i'm not sure if it was the glue or the tip itself but i'll keep on testing that out but i ended up using an alternative tip i also ended up using an, an alternative glue um this monomer is hella strong so if you the scent of it is very very potent so if you're going to be practicing with this i'd suggest that you get yourself a face mask just to protect your health because they do say that it's potentially fatal to your health and then the product itself don't think that it's all the way down here it's somewhere till here they're scamming us big time with that cuticle pushes work the way they should um the buffer or the smoother file work the way it should the coarse file also work the way that it should have they didn't have nail prep they didn't have nail um primer they didn't have top coat and they didn't have um cuticle oil in the set so those are things that you're going to have to get for yourself on the side but at planet nails a bottle like this is 30 bucks so it's not that far off our price range the e-file i'm very happy with it i don't wanna lie i'll be able to travel around nicely with this e-file in my bag and the lamp you know this lamp i'm very happy with the lamp as well yeah so that's my review please leave an honest opinion of what you feel of everything that we did now leave any questions and i'll get to them as honestly and as soon as i possibly can please don't forget to subscribe please don't forget to leave a like and stay tuned for more